Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. In this video, I'm going to show a couple of tips about how to handle copying and pasting from the command line within a Fedora 34 environment. Before I dive in, I want to thank returning subscribers for watching another video, as well as invite anyone watching who has not subscribed to click that subscribe button and ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when new content comes available. Also, if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you click like as well as share with others and feel free to leave comments, either uh, questions, critiques, or any other comment that, that you would like. I'll respond as I both have time and ability to do so. So here we are with a basic install of Fedora 34, all defaults, and I have, have it patched up to current and I haven't installed any other programs. And the scenario that I want to paint for you is you have some type of data that you are using a program on the command line and you want to be able to share the output to that easily to, to someone else, such as let's say you're in an IRC chat room, which is something that I am doing more frequently since I'm a part of the uh, Fedora infrastructure team and trying to contribute to that. And let's say I'm troubleshooting something and I want an easy way to be able to get it out to the people to be able to see it to help with the troubleshooting. So for example, Let's say that we did the top command. I'm going to do dash B for batch mode. Makes it a little bit easier to redirect the output for top. And we'll do dash N for just one instance of it. And I'm going to redirect that to top test.txt. All right, now I have a, a file here. I can cat that out. Oh, top test. If I can type here. And there we are, we have the file. It looks just like a normal top output, it has all the header stuff at the top. And so if I wanted to share this with others, there are a couple of ways I can do this. Since this is a text file, I can you know email the text file. I could open this up in the text editor and um, copy the data and paste it to some type of paste bin service. And if you're not familiar with paste bin services, they are basically websites that let you share plain text with others. You can either upload a file to them. Um, some you can literally copy and paste your text into the browser. It generates a link. You give the link to the other person and they can see your, um, your information that, that you're wanting to share. Also, you can, if you're in a non-console environment, here I'm in the desktop environment and I'm running terminal, you can highlight and do control, control shift C and that'll copy your text and you can paste that to, to, to wherever. But let's say that you're in a situation where you're actually at the, um, at the console. So you don't have the luxury of being in a GUI and copying and pasting, or if you are in a GUI and you don't want to have like a middleman trying to share this text out, F paste is something that you're going to love. So I'm going to clear my screen. And this time I'm going to do top B in one again. And this time I'm going to pipe it to F paste. And what this does is create a link to the Fedora paste bin service, even though it says paste.centos.org. And this link is going to have everything that would have been visible with top dash B dash N one. So let's, right click and open this link. It'll take just a moment or so for my browser to open. This is on a VM, so it's a little bit slower than normal. And here we are, we have our browser, and you can see the output of what that command would be. Now notice how you have pluses beside this stuff. It's literally outputting what would have been in my terminal. So of course I didn't have a large terminal window, but this is a very easy way to share the, um, the information with someone else. And notice it says this pace will expire in 23 hours. That might be configurable. We'll check that out in just a moment. But this is a very easy way to make that happen. And like if you're an IRC chat or something, you simply copy the link, paste it in there. They can click, they can see, and everything is good. Now, um, this is not available from best I can see on an Ubuntu system, um, or at least it, it, if it's available, it's not available in the, the, the uh, repos. There may be a, a way of making that available, but I know this is available on Fedora. Real quick, let's check the man page for FPaste. And let's see, let's look down here. Ah, there we go. So we can specify uh, when it expires. And I think you can uh, redirect in to F paste as well. Whereas what we did before was the top and we piped to F paste. You should be able to redirect into F paste as well. 
So the next utility I want to talk about is the WL clipboard utility, and this stands for Wayland Clipboard. By default, the uh, Wayland Desktop Manager is, is what's used, and I might have used the incorrect term there, is what's used in Fedora 34. I think it was default in Fedora 33 as well, if I remember off, if I remember off the top of my head, but I know it was in, in Fedora 34. And also, I believe it is default with just the, the plain Ubuntu environment as well. So this is not installed by, by default on your system. You'll need to grab this. And so, let me clear my screen here. To install this, we'll do sudo dnf install wl-clipboard. All right, we'll start the install, and we'll come back once it's done. Shouldn't take too terribly long, though. It's a pretty small package. And we're back. And if you were to look at the clock on my little VM here, I don't think even a minute passed to be able to get this. So what WL Clipboard gives you are several commands, um, one of which is WL Copy, as well as WL Paste. The way the copy works is very similar to how F Paste happens, except this is copying to your system clipboard. So if I were to do, um, let's, let's do something a little different. Let's cat the etsy ssh sshd config file all right so i can cat that out oh permission denied of course so let's find something that's not going to be permission denied maybe something in the var directory and all those are owned by okay I, I can read some of these okay we can read the dnf log so let's cat dnf.log there we go and we get some stuff now we could send this to fpaste. We could output this to a text file and such, but let's say that, that there was something else that we were wanting to do and we wanted to just copy this to the system clipboard and then you paste it to wherever else that, that you need. So to do this and uh, make it a little bit easier in the Wayland environment, you would do your command. So we're gonna cat dnf.log and we're going to pipe that to WL copy. All right, so now let's open a different program. I'm pretty sure LibreOffice is here by default, or LibreOffice Writer is at least. We'll open this up real quick. Might pause the video if this takes too long. Hopefully it doesn't. All right, so we're here. Now, I'm just gonna do unformatted text. There is our text from the command line, all a couple of pages of it, because this was a log file, actually 163 pages worth of text. And that's very easy to, to make happen, just piping to, to WL copy. You can also paste as well. So let's say that we had, um, let me not save this here. Let's say that I did the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. It's one of my favorite little um, little items to do. So I'm going to make me a quick text file here. And we're going to just call it foo.text. I'm going to type in the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'll save that. Oh, I'm in the, the var directory. That's why I can't do that. Let's go back to our home directory. We'll do this again. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, so we have that. We'll cat this. Let's say that you had this particular text and you got it from some other uh, application and you wanted to paste it into the command line. So one thing you can do is use the control shift V option that, that, that can work. But let's say there was something like a little more pro programmatic you wanted to do. What you can do is WL paste and that will copy your text into the command line. These utilities are not, you know, the be-all, end-all of copy-paste. There, there, there's a variety of ways of handling it, but I figured I would share them with you 
the WL copy is something that I found myself using uh, a good bit, a little bit more than WL paste, and the um, F paste command is something that is awesome, and I've I've used that regularly for um, sharing some information, in particular in uh, troubleshooting situations. So I hope you found this useful for you with your endeavors of trying to deal with copy and paste in the command line. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you click like and also share the video with others that might find it useful. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do click that subscribe button and ring the bell. And if you have subscribed, thank you for coming back to watch another video. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch and I will see you the next time.